falling apart. Hey guys, welcome to Life in the Hyam House. It is DYI Saturday. I've got Logan and Asher, and uh, we are doing a little project that we saw on uh, Pinterest. Uh, with Logan going to school, we're going to do some rearranging of the rooms for the boys. Um, and to do that, we need to build a bed. And since we can't afford to go out and buy a new bed, uh, we went and we got some lumber, and we're going to construct our own little loft bed to fit in the room where Logan stays. And so we're down here, we're building it. So have a little DIY fun on a Saturday. All right, so the bed that we're gonna build is a loft bed. So a loft bed sits high, all of the underneath. There's a glare. All the underneath open. And we're actually gonna make it so that we can wheel Logan's bed underneath of it or we can put other things underneath it to save space in the room. And so we've already cut our corner boards. They're gonna sit like an L, like this, and they're gonna become the ends of the bed that will support the mattress and all the good stuff. All right. so what we gotta do now is pre-drill some holes, run some glue along the edges, glue it down, tighten up the screws, let it dry, and that becomes our corners. All right, there we go. All right, so we just uh, lined up our holes for the side pieces. We marked every six inches. We're gonna put a hole and then put our screws through it. And we're gonna glue them together to hope that it holds better. So Asher's gonna do this, the drilling, and you're gonna put a hole every, at the Make end sure of fine. every spot. And you're gonna go all the way down to the end. So we finish our four corners. I need to wipe this down in here. So okay, get the glue out. Um, we drilled holes, used wood glue to glue them together, and then we actually put screws into them. This one's uneven. That's because the ground's uneven. Yeah. All right. Cool. So next part, we're going to measure out and get the platform for the bed and measure out the rails. So we'll do that. So we're marking on the inside of the posts where the mattress is going to sit and where the support piece needs to go. And Logan's doing a good job of making nice little... See that? He's a kid after my own heart. Look at those lines. Gotta love it. Alright, we're moving on. You're good. Alright, so we got our first sides together for the mattress support. Now we're going to work on the end support down there and down here and then the bottom support and then we'll be able to take it upstairs and pretty much assemble it and then finish off the, the little pieces upstairs and then we'll make too much of a mess. So we're almost done. Alright, so we just assembled most of the bunk. Uh, it looks good. We're going to take it upstairs to uh, the bedroom and get it in place and actually tighten everything up and, and cinch it all up and basically it'll be ready to go. We'll let it sit for the night and dry, the glue will dry. Uh, and then it should be a good loft for tomorrow night. So we're gonna take it upstairs and get it in place. We have started assembling the bed. Asher and I are just working and finishing the last few pieces. Uh, and they'll be able to, ready to go. All right, so we've got the, the frame up. Now we're just gonna put on, we're gonna measure out for the ladder. And we have to put the, 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 the rail that goes across so no one falls out. We'll go across there. So and then we'll be all set to go. Anybody. So, almost done. Home stretch. Hey, Asher's sure putting together the ladder. ladder. I can't get the screw onto it. Alright, 
So the bed is all framed in, it's all constructed, it is rock solid. And uh, we're just gonna clean up, put the mattress on it, Watch. clean up the room, get it all together, solid. and we'll be all done. It is, it's seriously, it is like concrete rock solid. It is such a good, it's a good bed. All right, let's get all this cleaned up. Uh. Almost done. All right, so at the end of the day, the bed is finished. Asher and I just uh, put it all together, locked it in place, and uh, I don't know if Aiden's gonna sleep in it tonight or not. I think he is. But you think he is? We'll see. It's sturdy enough. It's sturdy enough, absolutely. So Super there it is. Sketchy right here. Yeah, we've got one thing we got to finish. This is gonna be a little reading nook in here. And we got to put a few more studs in and a piece of plywood that goes across and then it'll be sturdy enough for it's us. It's like super hard to get from here yeah. to here. So be a cute little, cool little platform there. The ladder's in place. We have Logan's bed in place. We're going to paint it later on and we'll dress it up with some lights and some fun features. Uh, but for now, it's done and it's usable and uh, Aiden can sleep in it. And that was our goal. What's that? We should get an Amazon Echo. That we can turn on the lights. Oh, uh, we have to rewire the house to do that. That's another DIY project we're not even about to get into. <laughs> so that's it. Asher and I want to say thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, our little project. If you're interested in a bunk bed like this, it's super easy to do. Uh, we saw uh, something like this on Pinterest, and so we just kind of looked at their picture and figured it out. But I will make a materials list, um, an estimated cost sheet for you, and we'll have a blog. Uh, so click on the link uh, below in the description and you can uh, see how we built this and um, yeah, I think that's it. So thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and uh, as always check out the blog thehighamfamily.com. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time here on Life in the Hyam House. See you later. Bye.